Your last mission didn't exactly work out, Tom. Your killing everybody means a lot of problems for us. They tried to rape Sarah. The cops ought to thank me. I know, but the one you let get away will make trouble. What? We didn't let anybody get away. They're all dead. One lived. They pulled him out of the car wreck. Shit. The one you killed was the son of a city councilor, the mayor's friend, and Morello's accomplice. And the one who lived will go crying to the councilor. Daddy didn't exactly love his son, but in these cases, a person can remember a lot of good things. By the way, his funeral's today. Pity I can't make it. You're lucky that second one didn't know who you were and couldn't give you up. But that's not why I sent for you. Tom, I have quite a delicate job for you today. Come on, let's get in the car. Businesses which the Don has invested a lot of money in has suddenly decided to forget his obligation. And he has taken up with Mr. Morello. It seems that Morello is trying to test our limits. We're not going to play his game. So what's going down? We're going to blow the place up. What? What kind of joint is it? A hotel. Uh, that is, it's a brothel town. But no regular who house. It's a place for classy society types. And I have to knock them all off? Of course not. We'll just liquidate the owner and blow up his office. That should be enough of a warning for the others. We means me, right Frank? I take out the owner and I blow up the hotel. Exactly. And there's one more thing. One of their girls is passing information about our activities to Morello. We'll need her eliminated too. Frank. <laughs> I have to kill a woman? Worst luck, huh? Here's a photo of her. She's cute. And she looks familiar. Are you certain this is her? Unfortunately, yes. Her big mouth has lost us a pile of money and some of our people. Why don't Paul or Sam do it? We know the place in and out. They'd be dead before they can get it together. Hmm. So what's the plan? It's downtown, the Corleone Hotel. Find the boss and shoot him. You can do it in public. It'll be a warning. Then take care of the girl. The owner's office is on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and then set up the explosives. You won't have time for much else. This won't be no picnic. I know. But if we don't take care of this now, we are next in line. It may be a right. The weapon and explosives are here in the car. Tom, good luck.
afternoon. Where would I find the manager, please? He's in the hotel restaurant having lunch, sir. It's just through those doors. He's the man in the white suit. Much obliged. Uh, by the way, I'm looking for the girl in this photo. She works here. Do you know where I could find her? And who are you? A Seamus or Vice? No, I've never seen her before. If you want to enjoy yourself, choose from one of the girls down here. Well, I'm no Seamus. I just need to talk with her. Like I said, never seen her, so be kind enough to get out and don't make no problems. Watch the mouth, old timer. I ain't used to it. Me neither. And my two-headed sawed-off from just under the counter was saying that your behavior is not acceptable. So I advise a slow, cool exit. Hmm. I'll remember you. This is the way everybody ends up when they sell out to Morello. What do you mean? What's your business here? Help! There's some nutty here! You're Michelle? What are you doing? What's going on? What, what are you going to do? What do you want from me? I'm sorry, Michelle, but I heard that a bunch of people got knocked off because of your talk and someone lost a lot of dough. You're dangerous to us. It, it isn't true. It couldn't be true. Tom, wait! I, I didn't know I'd hurt anyone. 
I, I wanted to help my brother, and... I knew it. This could only happen to me, a total screw-up. I can't just kill a young girl. A young naive fool who wanted to help her own brother? Probably a real bastard. On the other hand, is it worth getting killed over it? Get dressed and get out. Thank you. This place is going to blow in a little while. I don't want to see you in this town again. Nobody can see you here anymore. Thank you so very much. In this town, you're dead. Go away and never show your face here again. Get it? I promise. You will never hear about me again. I forgot something. Just regular work. Take you on. Everybody! Yeah. 
and was taken from us unexpectedly. The Lord awaits his flock with opened arms, and those such as Billy are awaited in the heavenly realm. Billy was a good son, brother, and friend. We will all remember him in that light and pray for his salvation, since he did so much good. And now Billy's friend who was with him during the last moments of his short life on this earth, would like to say a few words. Come, my son. Thank you, Father. You know, I, I wanted to pay my respects to Bill today and to tell him that I considered him as my own brother, that his death was a great loss for me. Huh? Uh, what? Are, I was that present is, at his death. Uh, and how? It, That's the one! And that's the bastard who killed Billy! Get him! Carlo! See you in hell. Don't right. move! Get down, Fada! No please, spare me. You hear me? You got plenty of time. You let me live. Come on down, you big hero. Show us what you're made of. Have mercy, don't kill me. No, no please have mercy, don't child. kill me. No, please spare me. No, please spare me. Don't do it. Please let me live. Oh, it is only I. My son, don't shoot. I am unarmed. What have you done, my son? Such suffering for nothing. God is forgiving, but this is terrible. 
Don't you know murder is the greatest sin? I know, Father. But somehow everything got fouled up. I made a mistake somewhere. So many people have died without reason. They could have done much more with their lives. Father, these people were criminals, cheats, murderers. The one lying in the front wanted to rape my girl. Maybe God wanted it this way. A lot of people will have an easier life because of this. Yes, the Lord works in mysterious ways. But what about you? You can look yourself in the face. Your hands are stained with blood that you'll never wash off. I know that, Father. Look around you. Such a waste. We'll have to consecrate the church again. Everything is shot up. I can't let my parishioners in here. What am I going to do? Maybe this'll help? Pray for my soul, Father. I'll need it. I will, my son. I certainly will. By the way, Father, your little speech about Billy, I'm wondering about your conscience. Billy wasn't such a good person, and he didn't do good when he was alive. You must be joking, right? How could you get through this? Now it was really bad. Billy's pop, the councilman, wasn't very happy with us. And he was in bed with Morello's. Without the Mafia's help, he wouldn't have got his seat. He also started to mobilize the police. So we now had both the mob and the police against us. Aw, oh, come on. Hey, both sides benefited from it. The police could look good in the fight against crime, and at the same time get fat payoffs from Morello, who they left alone. 
And with the help of the police, Morello could eliminate his greatest competitor. An ideal situation. And things were going bad for us. Salieri lost a bundle. And I wasn't doing too good after all that killing. It started to seem that there was no point to anything. That I should enjoy everything as much as possible and quickly, while I still had the chance. When it's so easy to lose your life. Maybe that's why Paulie and me started drinking. You weren't falling apart, maybe. My life was just a trail of murders, crimes, and alcohol. If Frank hadn't helped me out, I would have ended up worse. It was weird. But suddenly he came to me and wanted to help. Could you give me a ride home, Tommy? Sure, Frank, get in. So how's life, Tommy? Yeah, going okay. Just... just... Ah, nothing. I heard you and Paulie are living it up. You two are getting pretty well known around town. Just something to do with the money. If you don't want to end up a wreck, Tom, find some meaning in your life. What? You want to preach to me about a sense of life? I've seen a few good guys who couldn't deal with their problems, and they end up real bad. Usually somebody knocks you off for your money, or maybe you go nuts and all your buddies and pretty dames disappear. Anyway, the Don doesn't want drunks with trembling hands working for him. Those kind of people just bring problems. If you don't watch out, the next thing you know, your best friend kills you without blinking an eye. What should I do, then? Come on, be yourself. Maybe invest the dough in some kind of investment. I could give you a few tips. Give up the party and go to the races with the Don on Sundays. Try taking a dame to the theater or at least the movies. There's a lot of things you can do. And who should I take, Frank? A decent girl doesn't want to kill her. You know, a policeman will murder to uphold the law. You enforce our laws. It's the same thing, we're just on the other side of the fence. You're not a murderer, Tom. But still, your wife mustn't interfere with your business. Remember, never take the job home, it just brings trouble. And where would I find a woman for me, Frank? I thought that you had something with Luigi's daughter, Sarah. I think she's a wonderful girl. But you alone know best how far it'll go with her. I'm not going to endanger somebody like Sarah, Frank. 